Hi and welcome back to another vlog from Golden Hour series. I am so happy to show you this vlog because I made a very special maternity shoot last weekend. I've been planning it for a very long time and the idea was to put a maternity model in the moss together with flowers and just to create this magical, mysterious environment and I am super thrilled about the result and here is the vlog. I need to find a place where we have like a, what can I say, like a rug of moss so I can have some um, clean area and she's going to lay down on the moss with a lot of flowers. Ah, here you have a obstacle. Should I jump? Beautiful. Beautiful with horse, grace. with grace. So uh, I always uh, visit the location before the shoot so I can count in how long time it will take to go there. As you can see, this is not a very good road to walk in. I think it's a little bit slippery as well. So we need to walk very carefully. Okay. I see a lot of moths! This is exactly what I was looking for. So I will mark this um, place out. It took us four minutes to walk here. So I will mark this place out and then we will go look for even more beautiful places. We should continue to walk here just to see if we can find something even better. Very good. Ten points. <laughs> I like this kind of locations but since it's supposed to be a little bit cloudy tomorrow, I think it's good to um, choose a place where it's not so dark. And as you can see, it's very hard for the light to come in here. Well. Mm. See how the light is coming into his face. And look up. Today is the big day and I am actually very nervous because it's raining and um, it's very grey outside and that was not what I had planned. Ja, jag ska köra in. Oj! I don't know what I'm looking for, actually. I never get nervous. It's just because the weather, look at this weather. It's, it's not okay, it's not okay, it's not okay. Please don't. Det är lite tidigt. De flesta liksom. Ja, det kommer bli riktigt bra. Shit, vad snyggt. Är den fin? Ja, jättefin. Wow! Ja, men det här ser jättebra ut. Men tror du inte det? Ja. De här som ser ut så här, det är sånt som jag har skickat med. Jag tänker att du kan vända och plocka lite och lite så. Ja, men precis. Gud, vad fint. Ja. I just picked up the flowers and they are amazing and it stopped raining. So now I'm happy again. Now I'm opening some heat bags. They look like this. I bought them on a Swedish site called Cool Stuff. And um, it's a um, heat bag. You open it, take it out, and when it comes in contact with air, it will get warm, very warm, for um, 12 hours. So I'm about to open a lot of bags while I'm waiting for the assistant, Sophie, to arrive. And I'm very happy because both uh, Sophie and Maria, the flower girl, were um, at the last uh, flower shoot. So I'm very happy that they could attend today as well. And um, of course the flowers from Blooming Design as well. And uh, good to know is that I'm not sponsored uh, by any company today. This is a non-sponsored video and shoot. And I paid a full price for 
all things that I do today. So the assistant will get paid, the flower girl will get paid, and I paid for the flowers. So when I do, um, when I write where the flowers comes from and everything, it's just me being kind because I think they have great service and uh, beautiful flowers. Let's do this. Our model is here. Mrs. Sanija. <laughs> now we are just trying out the position of the flowers. And she's not going to have the, the crown like this. It's just for Maria to see. Hello, Maria. It's really, really good. So excited. Feels okay? No? <laughs> so we are attaching the heat bags on the inside of the one piece. So when she puts this on, she will be very warm and Very comfy. Oh. You look stunning! And this is the artist. small ladder with only three steps. I think I was about one meter above ground and I was standing on the ladder and then I held the camera above her leaning forward and since I couldn't see the picture how I took it I had to chance so I took a few pictures over there, a few pictures over there and this was the best picture and I'm super happy with the result because this was what I really had in mind and of course I had to do some editing because we were very good to um, take away the leaves and uh, the things that were distracting in the picture but there are always a few things that you see afterwards. So now I wanted to show you how I edited this picture as well. Um, I used uh, some kind of different gradient layers and a clone stamp, of course, to erase all the things. And it's not a very advanced edit, really. Uh, the most work was in the clone stamp. So here is the before picture. <laughs> and as you can see, we had a lot of leaves that were very distracting when I started to edit it and normally I don't do this kind of edit to all my pictures but since I really wanted a clean and uh, beautiful picture I decided to put the effort in and uh, do some cloning and I used two different tools in Photoshop this is my favorite tool to remove this kind of objects it's, it's called spot healing brush tool and um, it's very simple just to uh, let me just put this on 
um, it's very simple just to click where you want to erase and then the, the tool will take the information around where I pressed and uh, put together a very natural um, replacement. It's very easy and uh, it's uh, very <laughs> hard to stop when you start. So I like this tool very much and sometimes I also use the clone stamp but since this will just copy ex the ex exact area I uh, prefer to use the spot healing brush too. So I will not be able to show you exactly how I edited this picture because it took me a very long time to do the cloning and all the tones and everything. But I wanted to show you which tools I used so you can do a similar uh, color tone if you like. So it's very simple. I started out to um, go to channels and press commando or um, com what's it calling me? <laughs> I don't know the PC. Control. Uh, control or commando. Uh, and then press uh, left mouse to mark the picture like this. Then I go to levels, curves, to just make a good base layer. And since the picture is already edited, it's um, it's just to show you the, um, the tools I use. So this is the, um, the base edit I do. And then I go to gradient map. And I always choose soft light at first, so it's easier for me to see how the colors will change in the picture. And then I prefer to use um, like a beige tune there. And then I go to dark blue or purple, something like this. And as you can see, this looks very <laughs> too much now, but I like this. These three colors is very beautiful, are very beautiful to combine. Something like this. And since I use the layer mask, it's very easy for me to uh, put a uh, commando or control I to invert it and then to use the brush to put the effect where I want it. So instead of putting, putting it on the whole picture, I can just select and uh, paint on where I like. So it will be very easy to, um, to get these beautiful color tones. So this is my favorite tool to um, actually do the color tone or the grading. And then I also like the um, uh, color balance to just uh, drag it from yellow to blue. And uh, then sometimes I also use the selected color to um, make it darker or take it more to magenta. So now as you can see the picture is not very green at the moment because I already erased that in camera raw. This was my favorite tools that I used for this picture and now back to the photo shoot. Since the light was almost totally gone at the end of the shoot, I decided to use my reflector and my Profoto A1 with the model light just to give some more extra light in her face. We are done! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're amazing! Thank you so much for watching this episode and we will of course be back next Sunday with another episode. Bye bye!